Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain phase modulation with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. See, in this video, first of all, I will discuss about basics of phase modulation. After that, I will explain block diagram of phase modulator. After that, I will explain waveforms of phase modulator. And at last, I will discuss about square wave phase modulator. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of phase modulation. See phase modulation that is a category of angle modulation. In phase modulation, we will be changing phase of carrier signal with respect to message signal. So here in phase modulation, phase of carrier signal changes with respect to modulating signal or one can say message signal. See in phase modulation, if you have carrier signal that is Vc cos of omega ct, then here you need to understand one thing. See omega c that is a frequency of carrier signal and phase of this carrier signal is omega c into t. Omega c is frequency and phase is omega c into t. Then in phase modulation, phase modulated wave that will be Vc cos of omega ct plus phi where this phi that is a function of message signal and here as I have told you this phase modulation that is a category of angle modulation then here Vc cos of theta t where theta t is function of message signal. So phase modulated signal is having change in phase with respect to message signal right. See here, phase modulation is a part of angle modulation. The angle of phase modulation that will be theta t and that will be omega c t plus phi where phi is kp into mt. So as we change the message signal, overall phase theta t that will change, right? So in phase modulated wave, phase of carrier signal changes with respect to message signal. And that will change as per kp into mt where kp is phase sensitivity and its unit is radian per volt. So you can understand this see kp that is radian per volt and message that is having voltage. So voltage voltage that is getting cancelled and here we will be having radian that is a unit of phase right. See if you have message signal that is positive in that case phase modulated signal that will be having carrier stretching. If you observe here we have kp into mt. If mt is positive then overall phase that is getting added over here right. So that will be carrier stretching that will be having phase lag with respect to carrier signal right. So here if you have message signal that is positive in that case phase modulated wave that will be having carrier stretching and if you have message signal that is negative in that case phase modulated wave that will be having carrier compression and because of carrier stretching and carrier compression its frequency will also appear to be changed that I'll show you by waveform that will give you more clarity. First of all let me explain the basic block diagram of phase modulator. See here we have two essential elements this message signal that we give it to differentiator and that differentiated message signal that we give it to frequency modulator another input to frequency modulator is carrier signal and output of frequency modulator that will be generating phase modulated wave right. So this message signal that we give it to differentiator so here we will be having dmt by dt where mt is message signal or one can say modulating signal and see differentiated message signal and carrier signal that we give it to frequency modulator and frequency modulator that will be generating pm wave see pm wave that will be having change in angle and that will be omega ct plus kp mt where kp is phase sensitivity its unit is radian per voltage and phase modulated wave 
दैट विल बी वी सी कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी टी प्लस के पी एम टी राइट हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व सी इन एंगल मॉड्यूलेशन एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ कैरियर विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट सी हियर वी हैव कैरियर दैट इज हैविंग एम्पलीट्यूड वी सी एंड फेज मॉड्यूलेटेड वेव दैट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग एम्पलीट्यूड वी सी सो हियर फेज ऑफ कैरियर सिग्नल दैट वी आर चेंजिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मैसेज सिग्नल नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन हाउ एक्जैक्टली वेव फॉर्म्स विल अपियर इन केस ऑफ फेज मॉड्यूलेशन सो हियर आई एम कंसिडरिंग मैसेज सिग्नल लाइक दिस यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर वी हैव जीरो वोल्टेज विद मैसेज सिग्नल एंड हियर वी हैव पॉजिटिव हॉफ साइकिल एंड हियर वी हैव नेगेटिव हॉफ साइकिल सी दिस कैरियर सिग्नल दैट इज वेरिंग एज पर साइनोसोइडल वेव and amplitude is there in between plus vc to minus vc carrier signal is having frequency omega c right and phase that is omega c into t here we will be plotting pm wave right and that phase modulated wave that will be vc cos of omega c t plus kp into mt now you need to understand how we will be plotting this so here see vc that is constant right carrier signal that is having voltage which is there from plus vc to minus vc phase modulated wave that is also having voltage from plus vc to minus vc voltage will not change only phase will change here we have three sections with this message signal in first section message signal is having zero amplitude as it is having zero amplitude here kp into mt that will be zero as it is zero pm wave that will be having same signal as it is there with carrier so here carrier and pm wave both are same why the reason is here we have zero amplitude with message signal now see here we have positive value of message signal if you have positive value of message signal then there will be carrier stretching why the reason is positive value into kp that will be adding phase over here so there will be carrier stretching means this carrier now that is getting stretched in this direction you can observe by waveform see this carrier that is getting stretched in this direction right in this direction and that stretching that is happening as per the slope over here right the reason is initially we are using differentiator so that differentiator that will be making slope of this message signal right dxt by dt that explains slope so if you differentiate this then slope that is what the value that is what we are stretching over here right so as per the slope stretching will happen and you can observe as it is positive carrier stretching is happening in this direction now here we have message signal that is negative if you have message signal that is negative then there will be carrier compression so here we have carrier signal you can observe that is getting compressed over here compressed means more cycles are there compared to carrier over here and here we have less cycles compared to carrier so that is how waveforms are there with phase modulation now i will explain one more example of square wave phase modulation you can observe here we have message signal that is square wave and here we have carrier signal that is sinusoidal carrier wave you can observe see carrier wave that is having frequency omega c so for phase modulated signal equation is vc cos of omega ct plus kp into mt see here vc that is constant with pm wave so here vc that is constant as per carrier signal it is also having amplitude vc only right now here i'll consider few data to plot pm signal see here i'll be considering kp is equals to pi by 2 and mt that is there as per square wave where the square wave is ranging from plus 1 voltage to minus 1 voltage so here during positive half cycle mt is plus 1 and during negative half cycle mt is minus 1 so as if it is plus 1 then this equation will be vc cos of omega ct plus pi by 2 so here i'll be plotting this same carrier signal consider that is having pi by 2 phase over here right now see during negative half cycle 
this message signal that is minus 1. If it is minus 1 over here, in that case, here in total change in phase, that will be pi by 2 into minus 1 means minus pi by 2. So at this instant, phase is changing from plus pi by 2 to minus pi by 2 means here transition of phase that is having 180 degree phase shift. So you can observe here waveform that is starting from here onwards means over here there is 180 degree phase shift. Now over here we have phase that is minus pi by 2 but here we have a transition to plus 1 means again there will be plus pi by 2. So from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 again there will be 180 degree phase shift at this instant. Here we have plus pi by 2 after that here we have transition to minus pi by 2. So again 180 degree phase shift will be there. So this is a waveform that usually we have it with phase shift king right and that is what we use it in digital modulation. So if you have digital modulation in that case you will be having message signal that will be kind of square wave. In that case by considering proper value of kp and mt we can have digital modulation as well. So I hope now you are having fair enough idea about what is phase modulation and how we can plot waveforms based on phase modulation. Still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.